Hello everyone, today I am back in the Naughty World where everything is turned off and we will finally get grass. In order to do this we will need my favorite item, the sea fishing rod. Basically when you go sailing in the ocean you can sometimes find these weird black spots that spawn in the water around you. When you fish it up you get ocean debris. Picking the ocean debris has a chance to give you grass. After all these years, I have finally acquired the most basic resource in Toad Starve. Unfortunately, this process is not as simple as it sounds. First of all, these things are stupidly rare to find, meaning you're probably going to be sailing in circles looking for them. Secondly, you're not even guaranteed to get grass. Most of the ocean debris I found contains zero grass, so this will probably take a while. Interestingly enough, I found not one, but two hardened slip bobbers. According to the wiki, they have a 0.22% chance to spawn, which is kind of stupid considering I can't even get grass, even though that has a 20% chance to drop. But then my luck took a turn for the better, and I finally found more grass. I didn't even know this was possible, but I even found the grass just lying there on the ocean. And after all that time, get a massive 6 grass. But at this point it has been over 3 hours so I moved on to something else. A lot of people have suggested extremely convoluted ways to get pigskin, but there is actually a really easy solution to get it. In the first episode I walked by this pig guard set piece. Yeah, you probably already see where this is going. I am going to keep killing them until I have enough pigskin for a pig house. Unfortunately, they are kind of hard to fight and I lost most of my telesite crowns because I suck at this game. Anyways, after returning to them for the fourth time, the greedy pigs finally decided to give me their pigskin. I used it to build a pig house and placed it far away from my base so the racist pig wouldn't attack me and then I killed him. This doesn't sound like much but I can do more with this pigskin than you might think. Firstly I can trade in the pigskin and meet for gold at the pig king, which makes gold renewable. Secondly I can craft a hand bat using the meat and pigskin. We will use this good weapon to go kill the ancient guardian in the ruins because I want to kill something. Unfortunately he is kind of hard so I looked up a guide from my favorite YouTube channel The Orange. If you can't do that or are just lazy like me then you should be able to tank him with around 7 telecyte crowns and some healing. Oh yeah, and because I know one of you will mention this no, you cannot cheese the Ancient Guardian by trapping him between the pillars. No, you cannot cheese the Ancient Guardian. No, you cannot cheese the Ancient Guardian. So yeah, I tried to kill him legitimately but then he somehow got stuck. Now he literally can't hit me while I just smack him until he is dead. If you don't know, you can craft a green amulet to craft something for half the price and then use the green staff to deconstruct it for its full material gain. If you don't know how to get living logs for the staff, you can get a wormwood to join and get him to sacrifice 20 of his health for a living log. The healing salves give 20 health so you can convert them one to one. I crafted the straw hat with 6 grass and then deconstructed it for 12 grass. I did this again for more grass. I then crafted some more straw hats so I could get so much grass it filled the entire room. You may be wondering why I would need so much grass and now I will show you. The first thing I crafted is a hammer. Now I can finally break this stupid burnt crockpot that was there for ages. The next thing I crafted was the bug net 
so I could craft a firefly and make a miner's hat. With the miner's hat I don't have to rely on willow's lighter for light and I can do things like chop trees in the dark. With the steering wheel, anchor and mast I can make a functioning boat that doesn't immediately crash when I leave it alone. At this point you may be wondering where I am going with my new boat and the answer is the new island from the last update. On this island I find this crab person that sells me a blueprint for the pinching winch. According to this person I can find some cool stuff from the purple blobs around the island. So hopefully I can find some good things from these purple... Did you catch it? I, I got it. Okay. Oh, I think you have to mine this. I there's something. Yeah. Okay. A bunch of bells. Okay, more bells. I think you can get a walking cane from them. And that will be really good. Oh, this one's gonna be difficult. If even possible. Um, oh, wait, are, is, are we just not gonna get this one? Is that, so, is that what's happening here? How are we meant to get that without crashing? I think I got it. Oh, look at that, that's, that's basically touching the land. This better have been worth the effort. I mean, bells. Goddamn bells. Looks like just more bells. Just kind of annoying. <laughs> it's literally all I'm getting right now. Uh, looks like more bells. Every time I walk by that sound, it's just getting worse and worse. I wanna hope for something good. I came to this island specifically to do this. Um, more bells. I might, there might be something good in there, but at this point I can't tell. There's so much bells everywhere. Oh, another tricky one, it's so close to the land. I have to get it under the pinching winch, but that's kind of difficult sometimes. Yeah, we completely missed it. I have to... No, I don't want your bell. Wait. No, it missed. It's so tricky. Oh, we took some... Oh, I think it got me. Yeah, it was, that was worth it. We took the damage, but it was worth it. We got the thing. We got garbage. Last one. If I don't get a. If I don't get something good, whoever told me to do this is a goddamn scammer and I demand a refund. Um. Let, let me spread my bells out. There's nothing here. <laughs> got nothing. I was promised good stuff. But there was nothing like that. Well, I guess that's the end. I was hoping for something to come out of this, but I just came here. And I guess the best thing this island can give me now is more moon glass. Yeah, now that I've grass, I've done most of the things you can do in this world. Also, is there music coming out of there? Yeah, there is. But I've done most of the things in this world. And for real this time. The logical next step is to probably open this world up and see what people do when they join it. But I don't know how the hell I'm gonna arrange that. Or how will that even work. But, yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.